What is going on guys, Adam here at what the fuck? Yeah, so today I'm going to be reviewing Frank Ribery's base icon card. He's got high low work rates with 5 star, 5 star. He can play left mid and left wing, which I absolutely hate that he can't play on the opposite wing. Uh, his pace is pretty good, it's not the best. I would have hoped for it to both be in 90s. His shooting is good for a winger, his passing is good for a winger, that crossing is a joke. Uh, his dribbling is fantastic. His stamina is a bit worrying, as is his strength and aggression. But we'll see how that goes throughout the matches. So he's been a bit uh, here, there and everywhere throughout his career. Absolutely stunning player though. Absolutely fantastic. Him and Robin at Bayern Munich were just an unforgettable duo. So he's got dead ball specialist, which he definitely is. Incisive pass, he's got technical plus, flair, trivella, and quick step. Now the technical plus uh, I've used on many players uh, and it's been fantastic. And I know that they've nerfed it a little bit, but it doesn't work very well on Ribera at all. He loses the ball way too much. I don't know what it is about him. I don't know whether it's his uh, running animation, whether it's his lack of strength, I don't know. But it just doesn't work as well with him as it's worked from, for me with the likes of maybe Muziala, Messe, uh, and a few others. So you'll see uh, a big variety of stuff in this video. You'll see him getting in behind and putting in crosses. You'll see dribbling, you'll see passing, you'll see goals. Now, I was over the moon when I packed him. When I packed him, there's a beautiful goal that I scored against uh, against Sheep in a, a friendly. The dog gave me free kicks within 35 metres. Um, yeah, I uh, when I packed him, he was like 1.3 million coins. I was absolutely over the moon. I loved Ribera. I, I like Bayern Munich. I love the Bundesliga. It didn't want me to score that one, did it? So I was over the moon when I got him. Um, but it just... I mean, I've struggled with wingers on this game this year. I haven't found any wingers that I thought are phenomenal. You know, if I move them to strike, I move them to calm, I can get a tune out of them. But as far as wingers themselves, I don't run down the wing and pass it across goal all game. I don't do the meta, as it's called, of uh, just cutting it back and tapping it in constantly. So I say that as I've scored a cut back and tap in. Um, but you know what I mean, I do score them, it's just not how I play them. If it, the opportunity presents itself, I'll take it, but it's not what I do. So wingers aren't, aren't necessary, should I, should I say, in the way I play. Uh, the way I'm playing at the moment is 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, so that's no wingers. And I'm having great success with it, just having my midfielders float out wide. So it is what it is. My fullbacks are good enough to do the work of a winger and a fullback. If that, if that's the way it can work, so be it. So like you see there, he took his first touch and he got away from the defender. And that's fine. But if that defender is even within arm's length of him, Ribery can't get away because of his lack of strength. And that is... It's rubbish. It's not. It's not good enough. That crossing really lets him down. His finishing. His finishing is better than you would expect for a normal winger. But this isn't a normal winger. This is meant to be Frank Ribery, one of the best wingers of modern football. 88 rated for him in the first place. I think is a bit of a joke. I would have expected him to be at least 90 rated. This guy was an absolute baller. Absolutely stunning footballer. He was the the heir to Zinedine Zidane as the next big world class French player, and I'd say maybe he didn't quite live up to expectations, but he was still absolutely phenomenal on his day. I also think that he would be more highly regarded if he played for Real Madrid or Barcelona, or even if he came to the Premier League and played for one of the big teams in the Premier League. Um, but Bayern Munich, I mean, it's seen as a bit of a given, isn't it? That they're going to win the title every year. That the players are going to do well and score lots of goals, get lots of assists. 
So I think he's uh, he slept on a little bit for that reason. And during his prime of his career was when there was all sorts of scandals going on within the France national team. You know, I think he was out of the team for a while. Benzema, Ben Arfa, uh, the whole Valbuena scandal. Like, I think there was lots of things going on that prevented his France career from really reaching the heights that it was capable of reaching. Um, so, yeah. So, I think he's around 600k at the minute. There's a summary at the end that'll tell you how much he is. Uh, it was either 600 or 800k. Uh, it's way too much. It's way, way, way too much. Uh, go out and get uh, Ludovic Jula um, if you need a French winger. Go and get him. He's a cheap version of this card. You know, he's not nowhere near as good. I say cheap in many different meanings. Cheap in the fact that he's nowhere near as good. Cheap in the fact that he is much cheaper. So, go out and get him. Give him a try first. Frank Ribera, he's just not it, unfortunately, guys.